It is 5.45 and we're happy to welcome Kate Wynn. She is here for Teacher Teacher. She is a teacher. She's a blogger. She's a mom. And today we're going to talk about absenteeism. Is anybody yes. in trouble? No. Okay. Um, well, now that it's time of year that report cards are coming home, it's a good time to take a look at the top right corner of the first page tells your child's attendance. Ooh. So it has their number of absences as well as their number of lates. Okay. So parents know when their kids have been away, but you might not realize how they're all adding up. Okay. So it's a good time to stop and think about it. There are tons of reasons why, you know, we want kids in school. There's research that, uh, that links the attendance to higher grades, to stronger reading scores. They've even connected high school dropouts with chronic absences as early as kindergarten and grade one, mm. looking back. So, I mean, we know, we know attendance is important. Okay. There's a really great site, attendanceworks.org. It's got lots of information, but it also outlines the kind of numbers you're looking for. So any um, absences nine or under is considered normal with the length of school year we <laughs> have. Under for half a school year. For the whole school for year. For the whole school year. Yes. My mother's so. watching right now and shaking her head. <laughs> <laughs> Yours were more than nine? Oh, on occasion in high school, yeah. <laughs> so and then between 10 and 17 is kind of the warning area for the year. And 18 <laughs> plus they consider chronic absence. So it's just kind of something to take a look at. Uh, is this something that um, teachers kind of worry about? the child's uh, home environment or is it really about a, a young person who's trying to push as much as possible to not go to school because they don't want to? Well there are all sorts of different things going on. I mean if a child is legitimately ill please keep them at home especially if it's right. contagious. So I mean we're not asking for sick kids to come to school. Of course these things happen. Um, sometimes kids try to get out of going to school and you know if they're saying they don't want to go look into that a little bit further talk to the teacher teachers want to know these things mm -hmm. because maybe there is something that's going on and sometimes that can manifest in physical symptoms I mean they might really have a tummy ache or a headache it could be school related anxiety it could be something completely different that that has them upset but sure. it's definitely something to look into because we want them there and we want them learning so as a parent when you're seeing your kid uh, you know sick every day for school um, how do you tackle it, aside for, from talking to teachers, how do you tackle it with your kid? Because, you know, you don't want to start calling your kid a liar or something, right? Like No, for sure. No, it's really tough. And I mean, definitely, if there's any possibility of something medical going on, check with the doctor, mm -hmm. too. Sometimes you can even write a note to the teacher and kind of staple it up and say, you know, he said he has tummy pain this morning. Could you, you know, touch base with me later on? If he's saying he has tummy pain to you, you know, I could come and get him. But just try to get the kid to school to start off the day. Sometimes once they get there, especially if it's nerves about school, once they get there get going it's fine uh, is it easier for uh, for some kids to stay home and other kids to, to not be able to stay home based on you know if there's two parents working in the house that kind of thing that oh, can be absolutely. difficult absolutely yeah for sure and I mean sometimes it's hard as parents who do work during the day when your kid is ill you're thinking okay are they now sick what? enough that I have to keep them home or can they go to school so yeah and I mean sometimes people who are at home might keep their child home for more minor reasons because they're there and it's not a big deal so but there's other things like bullying as well which is uh, you know a big reason why some kids just don't want to go to school Absolutely. So you definitely have to look into it if they're if they're talking about that. But so that number might be a clue. Yeah. To if you're kind of on the normal road, or if maybe you should be looking into uh, into sure. a concern. And I think sometimes have that discussion outside of the time when you're supposed to be getting ready for school. For sure. Don't do yeah. it between eight and nine. Maybe talk about it. Yeah. Uh, at other opportunities. And even looking at appointments and things. You know, can they be booked outside school hours? And when they can't, I mean, when they're going through the orthodontist phase or you know whatever, even touch base with the teacher to see is morning or afternoon better. Is there a day of the week that might be better? for the appointments, just to make sure that your kid is, uh, is getting the best education they can. That's mm -hmm. fantastic. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Kate Wynn. That was Teacher Teacher, and we've got the roundtable in a second. But first, let's finish up with Kate Wynn.